Having friends is one of life's joys. It's incredibly awesome to connect on a daily or a weekly basis with people that know, like, and support you. Having a group of like-minded people can inspire you to do all kinds of things. I'm very lucky I was able to see a group of my friends on a recent Saturday. We had all met back in 2016 through a group program and we became very close. When the group program ended, we saw and connected with one another less and less. The following year, we longed for that connection once again. One particular woman was willing to be open and vulnerable, and she honestly shared how she missed everyone and felt alone. Our instructor suggested that she do something about it, and so she did. This amazingly open woman created something monumental, which helped us bond even further. She created and orchestrated a get together, and we began to meet up every week, first in restaurants and then in one another's homes. This continued weekly every Friday night. Even during the pandemic, we met up using Zoom, which allowed us to feel seen, heard, and connected. If it wasn't for the support and the encouragement of these women, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. Helping women like you and select heart-centered men find love and be in happy, loving, connected relationships. So my question to you is, who do you spend the most time with? Who are your friends? Do they love, respect, and encourage you? If so, then you're one smart cookie. Are the people you spend the most time with single or married? If your group of friends are both single and married, how do you feel when you're around them? Do they inspire, uplift, and encourage you? Do the married people feel happy in their marriages? Do the single women feel happy being single, even if they want to be in a relationship? Or do the married people complain about their husbands and being married? Do the single people complain about dating and being single? Do they complain about how awful dates are and their inability to find nice, eligible men? Jim Rohn famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want a relationship, it's imperative you take a good long look at your friends. Also, take a look at your family, your coworkers, and all the people that you spend the most time with. Decide if your friends are inspiring, if they're encouraging or the opposite. Do you feel better when you're with them or do you feel worse about yourself and your life? Now, I'm not saying you have to eliminate these people from your life unless you choose to. I am suggesting that you limit the amount of time you spend with these people who may be doing you more harm than good. It can be a hard decision, I know, but you only have one life and you're going to choose to live it for yourself or are you gonna to choose to let others dictate it for you? The choice is yours and yours alone. If you need supportive, encouraging people in your life, I'm happy to help support you. Reach out to me and let's talk. In the meantime, think about what's best for you. I want you to date intentionally with the right people in your corner. If you're enjoying this and if you want to get some free dating tips on how to use dating apps without feeling frustrated, head over to daretodatedifferently.com and pick up your free tips today. You'll also get advance notice of the free workshops that I teach and you can be on your way to attracting and dating and even creating 
the relationship that's right for you. If you're enjoying this, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me, do all the fun stuff that we always ask you to do.